Hello, welcome to Getting to Know eFront. In this video, we'll explore the key features of eFront and show you an overview of how they work. This way, you can make an informed decision on which of these features you would like to implement in order to make eFront match the needs of your organization. So let's get started. In this video, you will see how to manage and create different user types, how to work with branches, the users list, how to impersonate a user and account mapping, how to create and manage content, tools for user management, how to keep everyone in the loop with notifications, how to get the most out of your data with reports. By default, there are three types of users available in eFront, admins, instructors, and learners. Let's briefly discuss what the responsibilities of each role are. The admins are responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the platform. One of their key responsibilities is setting up the platform, and to achieve this, they have access to the full settings of the portal. They can add and manage users, utilize the user management tools, and even create content. The instructors are the dedicated course creators in eFront. They have access to the necessary tools for creating courses, adding users to them, and monitoring their progress within the courses. The learners are the people participating in the courses and can take and complete courses. As an admin, you can create new user types to match your needs. To do so, click on User Types and then on Add User Type. You can give it the name that fits your needs and decide which of your basic types will be the archetype for the new user type. Then you get to determine their specific permissions for all the activities that can possibly be taken within the platform. Now that you have associated the users with the correct user type, let's see one of eFront's flagship features, branches. The concept of branches in eFront is a simple but powerful one, and one of the flagship features. A branch is an independent, uniquely branded and configured e-learning portal that's separate from your main portal, but is still created and managed from your account subscription. Branches are free and unlimited, and you can create as many as you want. You can even create branches within branches, as we will see in a bit. Now let's see the benefits of using branches. You can create separate training environments for different departments, locations, customers, or partners. They are easier to manage as you will be able to administer, run, and monitor your training programs from one place without having to maintain separate LMS installations. They can have dedicated branding to match the needs of every department, office, or customer. They offer better isolation as users can access only courses and documents that are shared with that branch and branch admins can access reports only for their own teams. Let's see how you can use branches to reflect your organization's structure. In eFront, you can create branches within branches. This allows you to go deep and have an extended organization replication tool with branches inheriting settings from their parents and extending them to sub-branches below them. These child branches can easily be moved around to adjust to any organizational changes that might happen, and the people inside these branches will follow as well. You can use the organization chart to track your setup, as well as which users belong to which branch, and how a branch can be divided into sub-branches for a fast, easy-to-comprehend experience. You see the child branches here as well as the users that are inside of a branch. Some users are marked in bold letters because they have elevated permissions within the branch. An important note before we move on to another topic. Due to the nature of branches, a user can belong to only one branch. This is regardless of the user type of the user. Let's talk about adding and managing the users of eFront. As the admin, you have access to the user list that shows you all of the users present in your portal. 
To navigate there, from your home screen, click on Users. From here, you can see a list of all your users. At the bottom of the screen, you can navigate the list or search for any user you want with their username, first name, last name, or even email address. If you want to add a new user, simply click on Add User at the top. Here, you can add the details of the new user, such as their name, their username, and create a password for them. Give them a specific user type, or assign them directly to a branch. In the user list, you can always use the icons to the right to deactivate a user, edit them, get to their reports, or delete the user. You can always click on the name of a user if you need to access more detailed information about their account. As the administrator, you always have the ability to impersonate another user. This is extremely handy for any potential troubleshooting or just to double check which features or courses a specific user has access to. To do so, just click on the arrow icon in the user's row. As you see, by impersonating a user, you are now that user. Please keep in mind that any actions that you take, such as completing a course, will be attributed to that user. If you want to return back to your admin dashboard, just click on the user profile and select Back to Administration. If you feel the need to switch often between accounts, but you do not want to go through this process every time, you can always map accounts. If you map an account, that account appears from a drop-down list in the Roles section of your profile, so it's very easy to swap between your accounts. To map an account to your profile, click on your profile, then on My Account. And from the new screen, select Mapped Accounts. Here you can see all the accounts already mapped to your profile. To add a new one, click on Add Account. Fill in the username and the password of the account you want to map, and click on Add. Now you're ready! As an administrator, you have the ability to create courses for your users. Let's see how to create a course. We will discuss some features that are already there, but we tend to overlook. To add a course, click on Courses. Here you can see and manage all the courses that already exist in the system. If you want to create a new course, click on Add Course. Here we set up the parameters of the course. You can add a thumbnail, give your course a name, and most of the courses will be e-learning, so let's select that. We will talk about blended learning in a bit. Add a description of the course. You can also add time constraints to the course, such as a fixed or relative expiration date. You can add codependencies between courses. And finally, you can have the course lead to a certificate upon completion. If this course is one that your learners have to repeat yearly, you can set up the certificate duration accordingly. And if you want, you can set it up so that the system will automatically reassign the course when you want them to retake it. Once you're ready, click on Add and your course is ready. Now that the course is ready, you can start adding content. And of course, enroll users to it. If you want to bundle up courses together, you can create a curriculum. You also have the ability to award a certificate to a learner once they complete the curriculum. To create a curriculum, click on Add Curriculum. If you wish to expand your courses beyond the traditional learning methods, you can create a blended learning course. These interactive courses contain instructor-led training events that your users can participate in via a live environment or through a conferencing tool such as Zoom or Teams. To find out more about how to create these, you can click on the Help button at the bottom right of your screen. Here, you can browse great resources in our knowledge base, 
So if you search for ILT, you can find all the relevant articles to help you set up. Alternatively, feel free to reach out to your account manager as their expertise is invaluable and they can help out with tips and best practices. Managing your users is a crucial part of any LMS. You can create teams that make sense conceptually and assign common courses to their members. You have the ability to mass assign courses to many people at once very efficiently and easily. By organizing your users, you can target your reports to people that meet your criteria. Let's see what options you have for user management in eFront. Groups exist so that you can mass assign multiple common courses to many users at once. Groups can be used to define your learners based on department or type of training or anything you want to mass assign to your users. You can create a new group. Once you set it up, you can assign courses or curricula to it. Then you can add users to the group. Do you want the functionality of groups, but you want automatic course enrollment? Jobs are here. Build a training program for your users around their specific role. Jobs are like dynamic groups. You add the courses first, and the users that are added to the job will automatically pick up the courses. Unlike groups, you cannot add curricula to jobs. Skills allow you to assign courses and curricula based on your trainee's specific skills. Skills are there to allow you to organize your users based on what they can do best. Skills work in two ways. Users can get skills when they complete a course or unlock new courses based on the skills they have acquired. Essentially, skills can be an alternative learning path. A course can lead not only to a certification, but also to a skill. This means that you can easily give courses to people based on skills that you want them to develop. And to help further, skills can be sorted in skill categories to keep things nice and tidy. If you mark a course as offered for the skill, then completion of the course or the curriculum will grant you the skill. Selecting multiple ones as offered provides alternative paths to getting the skill. If you mark a course as required for the skill, then your learners need the skill to unlock the course. If you want to divide your users into logical entities based on certain conditions and have these entities be associated with courses and live training sessions, then you can use audiences. As conditions for audiences, you can use branches, jobs, user types, and more. Once your conditions are met, you can associate courses and live training sessions with the people that meet your audience. Once a course has been assigned to an audience, it will no longer be visible to any user that does not belong to the audience. Notifications are automated emails that go out to predetermined recipients when a specific condition is met. This way, you can always keep your learners or members of your admin team and your instructors in the loop. In a notification, you can determine the recipients and create different messages depending on who gets the message, end user or admin team. The rich text editor allows you to add hyperlinks or even video and code to your notification. You can even add dynamic smart tags to your notifications to relay information directly from eFront to your recipients. Here you can track what has not left the queue and what has not reached its destination. You always want to be on top of things, and with reporting, you can do just that. There is a huge variety of reports in eFront that you can use to give you detailed information on what is happening in your platform right at your fingertips. eFront allows you to get reports on all of the crucial categories that you need. System-wide reports, or reports for users, or courses, or even tests. You can take your reporting one step further with filters. If you need specific data, you can create a filter that allows you to pick the exact conditions that you need. 
maybe users that only have a specific user type, or a course, or a group. Perhaps you want to filter by jobs, skills, audiences, or branches. For the ultimate reporting experience, you can create your own custom reports. You can pick from a rich variety of conditions, such as users that have not logged in recently, or users that completed a course in an exact or relative time frame. You get to decide if you want to combine these rules into logical AND or OR statements. You can save the report, but why stop there? You can pick your frequency and set up a schedule for the system and decide when you want to receive it by email. Sharing is caring, so you can always add your collaborators to the recipients list to receive the report when you do. We hope that this basic introduction to the key features of eFront has given you a great foundation to get started. eFront is a great learning platform with a lot of robust and adaptable features that allow you to set up your portal in the way that fits your training needs. eFront, your indispensable partner in training.